Hey everybody. It is still cold here. It is Tuesday. I just got back not long ago from town. I had to get some parts that we ordered yesterday um, from O'Reilly's for my husband's truck. Um, we are most likely going back to um, Houston this weekend. So, I want to show you something. So this is the duck that got bit by the dog last weekend while we were in Houston. And as you can see, the dark area on its chest, that's where she was attacked at and she's doing great. I decided not to call her. And she's doing good. So, so thankful for that. But, um... I did have two white rock roosters and my daughter found one of them over there next to the neighbor's property. Um, the dog is now on a chain and I can only assume it's because they noticed that the dog had the rooster and decided to chain him up. Um, which makes it even worse for us because like how do you know that your dog killed the neighbor's animals? And don't even say anything. So, yes, they know that it happened. I don't have proof that it happened because uh, my cameras weren't working. But it's pretty obvious what happened and which animal did it. Um, and they even chained their dog up to um, prevent it from happening again. Um, but if it does happen again, I will have it on video because my camera is on. I have multiple cameras on. So, um, I just got some new babies. Let me show y'all. They're hungry. I need to feed them. I just got some feed for them while I was in town. So, this is one that, uh, my hen hatched. It's from my naked neck hen. And the rest of them I just bought. There's six of them that I just purchased and one that I hatched. So, we got some little turkey naked necks. Turkins are actually not um, related to turkeys. They are from Transylvania. And um, that's where they originated at. And they're just chickens that have um, missing hair on their neck, missing feathers. Um, they're bred as a dual purpose. Um, meat and egg birds. Um, they, the people who um, created this breed, liked that they didn't have a whole lot of feathers on their neck because it would be easier to pluck out their feathers to eat them. So, yeah, that's where they came from and that's what they are. They're just chickens that look funny, but I love them. They have a great personality. They lay a lot of eggs and they, um, they're good mamas. Let's go take a look at my bunnies. My baby bunnies. Um, my lion had to get out of the cage the other night when it dropped down into the upper 30s and it didn't make it. But I still have some left. Okay, so this big old, big old baby right here. I have, okay, so my, my goats, when I let them out, they decide to... Um, push their nose against the um, the rabbit cages and because my cages well not like these I'll show you the other ones but um, they're not like that so these are like really good latches for your cages let me show you what the other ones look like these latches like this so you just push them in and then they open so my goats have figured out how to open these and I think that if they can open the door they can get to their feed which their feeders are on the outside, so it, it doesn't really even get them access to their feed. But my goats like to open these up and let my rabbits out. So, one of my mini Rex does got out because the goats let her out. So, y'all up here. And that's how this baby was created because they let out a doe and they let out a buck. So, it's mixed breed. It's a um, mini Rex mixed with Harlequin. So, yep. She had four, but she had them while it was raining. 
and this is the only one that made it. It doesn't want to be out because it's cold. So, I have a little magpie baby. It looks just like the daddy. And that's the little girl. And then I have this one. It is a... Martins have the silver in the ear and underneath the belly and the feet and behind the neck. So they're white or silver instead of tan, which would be a um, otter. And then I have this baby. I don't actually know um, what color it is. It's got blue eyes. And it's also a boy. I was hoping it was a girl. It might be a... Um, Chinchilla. Not sure. But, yep. This is the only, or only girl. The other ones are boys. And they're nice and warm in here. Tucked in here. <laughs> A little fatty. And, um, the rabbits are doing great on this feed. Um, the does are still on a mixed um, feed right now, half and half. Um, the Peaches feed and the Lone Star feed and the bucks were put straight onto the Petrus. And this little lynx doe is going to her new home soon. I got this doe back in September on the 24th from a friend of mine for free because she would not take so he gave her to me and says, okay, just um, try to breed her. If not, get rid of her or eat her. I'm not going to eat her. She's going to be a Christmas present as a pet. And this little baby right here is a doe that I'm growing out. She is built well. That's one of Gloriana's babies. And then this is Juniper. Juniper is pregnant. So she is the only one that took out of all my breedings recently. She's the only rabbit that took so yeah and she's due on the 2nd of January it will be back into um, the upper 70s and uh, lower 80s on Saturday which is Christmas and honestly I'm ready for it to be a little bit warmer I'm not ready for it to be too too hot though so hopefully um it doesn't feel too hot but yeah let me show you my plants that i have going on right now I just replanted some beets here they haven't come up yet and then what i thought was cucumbers is actually zucchini that my husband planted um and i've already picked one off this plant and it's doing really good and then i have some spinach mixed in with some Weeds. I need to come out here and weed this. But there's some spinach. And I'm keeping these sheets of wire over them because the chickens keep eating it. As soon as I have some germination come up, um, it's gone. So, so beets um, in the back and some um, other stuff. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and it didn't last very long. As soon as it came up out of the dirt. Um, the birds ate it, the chickens and the ducks. So, I'm about to come over here and, um, get the chick feed out of my van and feed all these babies because they are hungry. So, hope that y'all have a great evening. Y'all be blessed. Bye.